Okay, so I've retinned all the wires. I've put a thin, small piece of heat shrink tubing on there. This is all in shot. I've also filled up the bullet connector with solder. You can still see the remains of flux on top there. So now all that remains to do is get that flux, um, solder fl liquid again with the soldering iron. As I say, it's set to 400 degrees C, so there's a goodly amount of heat in there. So you just touch that. I know I'm doing it on the wrong side, I'll see if I can get it to so you can see. Pretty obviously when it goes liquid, just plonk the wire in. Let go. And as you can see, that's taken really well. Some solder come out of the side, I'm going to try, try and get rid of that, or spread it around at least. I it was the iron. Hope we can get rid of that. A bit too much there. That looks a lot better. As you can see, still well attached. That's it. As I say, a bit of excess solder on that one, but uh, just won't fill the next one up quite as much because it flows out of the holes in the side of the bullet connector. So, but still, that's quite good. I'm not an expert solderer, but I can get by. Use a bit of flux to try and visit it round, just to make it look a bit prettier. It doesn't so it doesn't interfere with the actual jointing faces. Should be okay. Okay, well I won't show you the other eleven that I've got to do, and I'll get back to you soon. Cheers. Okay, well I've redone all the motors, heat shrink them again, so hopefully they'll all be better. Um, I've got a few of them like Jim, Jim did, but none of them actually, none of the bullet connectors actually fell off for me. Um, although most of them did look a little bit powdery and uh, funny, I presume that's just dried flux. But uh, as I say, I gave some a wiggle and a pull, none of them came off in my hands, but better safe than sorry. So, anyway, as I say, with soldering, heat is the most important thing. The quicker you get the heat onto the joint, the quicker the joint is made and you're not burning your fingers. As I said, there was that chap earlier I saw on YouTube soldering up as a tiny little bit, big iron, don't know what wattage it was, but he had a small tip so there's no heat reserve in it. So while he's holding it, the heat's being sucked away from the tip of the iron into the wire and whatnot, and he was burning his fingers. I've done all these, I haven't seen from my fingers. So as I say, the bigger the bit and the more wattage of your iron, the quicker it's going to replace the heat and the quicker the heat will get into the work. Um, flux is obviously important and keeping the bit of your iron is clean is important as well, hence why soldering iron stands normally have a little sponge which you keep wet. I hope I'm not teaching you all to suck eggs here, but we all have to learn and we can all improve. I'm not a super solderer by any means, but at least I can get by. So I hope this has been a bit useful. And uh, on with the build.